Greetings. My name is Melinda Ewan. I'm a Director of Product Management in the Engagement Cloud area for Oracle. Today I would like to give you a brief overview of the MCA framework. MCA is the multi-channel adapter framework that was designed for Engagement Cloud. The multi-channel adapter framework provides an integration framework for live channels such as telephony and chat. Today, we're going to be primarily focused on the telephony integration. However, please note that this framework provides support for all channels, including chat, as well as additional custom channels. Before we get into the demonstration, I would like to give you a quick overview of the screens that you're looking at today. On the left-hand side here, you will see what we call the live window. This is the control panel area in the live window. If I had a telephony integration in place to such companies as Open Methods, Five Nines, Genesis, Cisco, or Avaya, you would see the control panel here. This would allow an agent to accept, uh, pause, transfer phone calls, and provide all of the controls that are provided by that third-party vendor. On the right-hand side here, you will see the Fusion uh, service page. So I, today I'm using a reference toolbar uh, to simulate inbound calls, but this will allow me to walk you through the functionality that's provided by the telephony integration and the MCA framework. So as you can see, we have an incoming call. This happens to be John Smith, and using the reverse lookup, we've looked up the phone number input and been able to identify the contact. So let me go ahead and accept this call. Now that we've accepted the call, and you can see that we have an accepted call with John Smith, uh, we are automatically brought up to the contact verification screen. The contact verification screen, screen allows an agent to make sure that they're talking to the right person before they get into any personal or sensitive information. This page is fully configurable and extensible, so deploying companies can add whatever information is important to them. As an agent, I have the ability to say, yes, this is John Smith. I have verified him through his phone number or his email address. However, let's say, for example, um, it was somebody else calling in on John's phone number. If that was the case, I would have the ability to come in and do another search search for the correct contact, and then come back and verify them. For today, we're going to say that we've gone ahead and verified that John Smith is the correct person calling, so we're going to say verify and continue. Once I do that, the screen pop logic will automatically kick in. As you see, the agent has been presented with the contact overview page. The screen pop logic is fully configurable so that a deploying company can say, based on a successful verification, we can screen pop to any CRM page within the system. This includes out-of-box pages, such as account, contact, service request, lead, opportunity, or activity. So at this point, we are in the contact overview page. And as an agent, I can come in here I can assist John with any of the information or questions that he may have. Once I have completed working with John on his question, I would then end the phone call. Once I end the phone call, I am presented with a wrap-up page. Again, just like contact verification, this is an optional page. This is fully extensible, so a deploying company can add any information that they feel is important for the agent to capture as part of their call disposition notes. So for today, we're going to say our communication reason was a general question, and our resolution code was answered the question. As an agent, I'm going to add some additional notes. Um, and I'm going to say the caller was interested in additional diagnostic. Oops. And as you can see, we have spell check in here, so I can quickly make sure that I'm adding everything correctly. And I'm going to end the wrap up. Once I end the wrap up, if I need to see additional information on previous calls, I can come down here to the interaction history. 
Interactions are a back-end ghost object that through APIs captured all information uh, for inbound and outbound communications. In this case, I would be able to come over here and click on the channel and see all of the wrap-up information that I've saved. So that is all of the information for today. If you have any additional questions, please be sure to let us know. Thank you so much.